Hi, I'm the Free American Thinker, and today I wanted to talk to you about something that's really a very awesome and 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 uh, incredible tool and and mindset and thinking process to understand God and the infinity of God. What does that mean? Well, if anyone ever tries to, to explain or, or tell you what God is or whatever, you have to really take it. I wouldn't say with a grain of salt, but with the understanding, which is you're trying to describe infinity with an inf you're trying to define and contain infinity with a finite number. Our brains are very finite. Our perspective in this world is very finite, and God is not. Uh, infinity is not. The universe is infinity too. So, and within infinity, you can have an infinite number of other infinite numbers, right? A good way to understand this concept is let's say we we are let, let's say we go back 2,000 years, and you had 10 people, and these people are unaware of other people because they're scattered throughout the world. Maybe one's in India, maybe one's in Africa, maybe one's in China, maybe one's in the Caribbean, maybe one's in the Americas, maybe one's in South America, doesn't matter. All these people do not know about each other, but they all have one thing in common, which is that they're all on the ocean, on the coast. And the other thing they have in common is that they have a container, say a jar, they didn't have plastic buckets back then. But what would happen if they were to all take the bucket, dip it into the ocean, and then later they all had their 10 buckets and they all met up somehow, and they were to compare all the buckets of water. Each of them will have their own perspective of what ocean water is. Some would say, this is saltier, or this one's warmer, or this one has fish in it, and this one doesn't have fish in it, or this one has algae in it, or this one does not have algae in it, or this is this, or this is that. That is the very concept of trying to understand and contain and put a perspective on God, which is it's mathematically impossible for us to understand it forever and all of time. So once you understand that, you understand one of the challenges that has been in the past, at least for religions, which is when a religion is trying to explain and define God and contain God in this box, uh, God is like this, he does that, and, and he does this, he does this, he punishes you or he doesn't punish you or, or there is an afterlife or there isn't or the afterlife is like this or the afterlife is like that, you can quickly see that with this analogy, it's gonna, you're never gonna come up with an answer because you're trying to all describe an infinite entity of power, omniscience, and light and love with a finite vector space of understanding, which is your brain and whatever textbooks you have. It will never happen. It's impossible. Forget it. <laughs> we could live for another million years, a billion years, and that is still a very small finite number when you compare it to infinity. So our understanding of the universe and God will never come to fruition. You will never understand him fully. You will never know everything. It is mathematically impossible because when you are in this world, you are a finite, you are an entity with a finite amount of resources and, un, and understanding because we already talked about how we are closed off to learn and explore things. And that is really, just looking at these notes here, that is really a good way to understand God. God is an infinite ocean. And when we take our tools and our religions and, 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 and our thought processes to try to scoop a bucket out of the infinite ocean of water, we can scoop until our arms fall off bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket and we could come back and forth back and forth and try to compare notes on all these things and we will never actually have even a one percent understanding or a two percent of understanding we will at best have a point zero 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 percent understanding that being said there are some commonalities that we can come to agreement on right we would at least all know all the waters all of god has uh you know hydrogen and oxygen in it, right? All of the waters, you know, have some part of salt in it, you know, uh, NaCl. Those are the commonalities of religion, and those are the things of truths that are the same and universal. And those are the things we want to look at and understand within and between each other are the commonalities of infinity, infinite love, infinite forgiveness, and infinite light. I hope you find this uh, interesting. I do and very powerful. God bless, the truth is inside you.